my name is Jamie Wong and I'm a PhD candidate here at Queen's in the Otter Lab. Otter stands for Optical Towing Tank for Energetics Research and we are a fluid mechanics research group with applications in alternative energy, aerospace and defense. One of the facts of life as somebody who researches fluid mechanics is that when you're walking outside and you see a bird land, every single time it will get more impressive because that tiny little animal is able to completely outmaneuver any aircraft that's ever been designed. What's really cool is that the same physics that let that bird maneuver are the exact same physics that let a turbine extract energy from the wind. And so one of the things that interests us as a group is taking a biomimetic approach to alternative energy problems. A key tool in tackling any sort of problem is the optical towing tank that was constructed in McLaughlin Hall in fall of 2014. An optical towing tank is exactly what it sounds like. It's a big tank full of water that you can tow a model through that gives you optical access on three sides. When you tow a model through a towing tank, it will generate a coherent structure like a vortex. Now this coherent structure is what links birds to turbines. And so we study how these coherent structures evolve through time. To do so, we put seeding particles inside the towing tank and illuminate them with a laser. When the model passes through, we capture the motion of those particles with a high-speed camera. We can then reconstruct the flow from the motion of those particles. Sometimes we'll use as many as four high-speed cameras so that in the same way that your eyes let you see in 3D, we can reconstruct the flow in three dimensions. Other towing tanks uh, will study ship hulls and things like that, but we completely submerge our models, which makes us a little bit more like a wind tunnel. Only in most wind tunnels, they care about things like the quality of the inlet flow. Whereas we don't have that problem. We're generating a flow by moving the model. And so we're able to tackle problems in a way that couldn't be considered elsewhere. 